It was uh, trying at times. It was, uh, there were some tough times all the way through. You certainly, as uh, the commander and the PLT of your spacecraft, you don't want to see it go off without you. But that's where we wound up. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams speaking to the public for the first time from the International Space Station since their eight-day test flight turned into an eight-month mission, both thanking their family, friends, and the public for the outpouring of concern. The two were the first to fly Boeing Starliner spacecraft in June. The mission was intended to be a final test flight before NASA certified Starliner for routine missions. But safety concerns, including propulsion system problems, prompted the agency to keep the veteran astronauts off the capsule on its return to Earth. 90% of our training is preparing for the unexpected. And sometimes uh, the, the actual unexpected goes beyond what you even think that could happen. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, a test flight means that we're probably going to find some stuff. We did find stuff and, um, you know, we made the right decisions and we're here. Wilmore and Williams, stocked with extra food and supplies, have been on the ISS since June 6 and are now expected to return home on the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft with two other crew members in February 2025. In the meantime, the two remaining positive. Things that I can't control, I'm not going to fret over it. I mean, there's, there's no benefit to it at all. So my transition was, maybe it wasn't instantaneous, but it was pretty close. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. It's just fun. You know, every day you, you do something that's work, quote unquote, you can do it upside down. You can do it sideways. <laughs> so it adds a little different perspective. Starliner landed uncrewed in a New Mexico desert on September 7th. Its future under NASA's commercial crew program now remains uncertain. Obviously, when you have uh, an issues like we've had, there's some changes that need to be made. Uh, Boeing's on board with that. We're all on board with that. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.